Hey, I'm Willie from The Zombie Star. This Week in Comics, we picked up our books this week, we read our books this week, and we even recorded this week. That's rare, so I'm excited. Um, we're going to be going over some books from Marvel and one awesome, awesome release from Image Comics. Let's begin. This week we read Star Wars, The High Republic, issue number 8 from Marvel Comics. I'm going to have to admit that while I enjoyed every single one of these issues, the story uh, now is a lot stronger than it was seven issues ago. Uh, several characters have really had time to develop and become more interesting as the characters continue their fight with the Drenchier. Uh, Jedi Master Skier has endured and broken free from a powerful and malicious mind control. Jedi Master Chris has really shown leadership and strength in the most dire situations. Uh, Jedi's Serret and Tarek have really grown into this very welcome comedic element to the story, but of course the main character, Jedi Trennis, has really grown into this powerful yet vulnerable and relatable character that has brought a lot of drama to the narrative. Issue number 8 is bringing this story to a close, as it intends to open up a brand new arc with some new faces and a lurking, yet new, um, enemy to come. Uh, this continues to get better as it, as it grows, and just continues to be just a great extension of the overall Star Wars universe. The artwork just has been on point since issue number 1, really providing just this energetic and intense uh, look for the title. Uh, re in recent issues, uh, recent issues have been really just action heavy, and the artist has been relentless in just giving these beautiful panels to these explosive spreads uh, that is really just giving us that great look for this story. Um, this is issue number eight. It's going to continue on for a really long time, I hope, as I just love this time period that they're exploring. Right now, this is the only form of um, entertainment that we're getting for this time period for Star Wars, and I really hope they just continue and continue continue because there's just so much that they can do. I really feel that like this is only getting started. Uh, Star Wars, the High Republic, issue number eight, and we only picked up the main variant this week. Super awesome. This week, also from Marvel Comics, we read Spider-Man, Spider-Shadow, this is issue number five. This issue brings an end to a very tragic arc regarding Peter Parker and his time as Spider-Man in the symbiote suit. Uh, the What If series is a focused journey um, into concepts like guilt, anger, and the mental weight that Peter's endured over the time as a superhero. Early issues of this story gave us a side of Spider-Man that we've never seen before, as he gives into rage and commits some of the worst atrocities towards his enemies. As the symbiote's control over Peter strengthens, Peter's will to fight off his murderous behavior weakens, and in issue, in issue number 5, we see that he's come to rely on his allies to fight back against the symbiote's growing control, as he is reminded that Peter and Spider-Man are never as strong as they are when they're accepting the help of others. As a what-if issue, a lot of the key elements and characters are altered during the timeline when Peter had the symbiote suit, although this does remain a morality tale of power, responsibility, and the importance of unity. Since issue number 1, the art Artwork has delivered some really classic looks for many, for many well-known heroes and villains within the Spider-Man universe. We're also reminded of the, of the varied and grotesque look one can take um, when bonding with the symbiote suit with some beautiful illustrations. I've enjoyed this the most artistically for really one of for giving us one of the most emotionally and spiritually defeated Peter Parkers that I've ever known as he fights for his moral compass. Um, this might continue. There is a little bit of a cliffhanger on this. I'm not really sure what they intend to do with, the, with a What If series, as they are traditionally very short runs. But this could continue. And if there's more stories of the symbiote suit uh, bonding with uh, other heroes that we've never seen before, story arcs that we've never heard before, I'd really be all for it. This is Spider-Man Spider-Shadow issue number five. Um, this is a lot of fun. Spider-Man fans, your Venom fans, and symbiote fans. This is uh, really cool. <clears throat> From Image Comics this week, we're reading Deep Beyond, issue number 7. This continues its relentless, fast-paced, and uh, twisted uh, sci-fi adventure. Uh, Jam-packed with evolving characters, plot twists, and reveals in every issue, there is not a comic, there's not a sci-fi comic in print that I think is as diverse as Deep Beyond. Although, if you're reading one, put in the comments, let me know, I'd like to read that. From super-secret government experiments to portals to other dimensions and even time travel, Deep Beyond is a really fresh and creative take on the sometimes overdone genre. Uh, characters, Paul, Jolene, and just a growing roster of characters find themselves in a future version of another dimension and are eagerly uh, solving the many mysteries that have a strong influence on their present, all the while still trying to solve the mysteries behind their loved one Pam's disappearance. I did say this was diverse. To add even more complexity to an already uh, deep narrative, the characters 
uh, motivations are constantly changing, really allowing for these shock moments that the reader could not have anticipated. I had mentioned how Deep Beyond has way too many moving parts to put into a nutshell and really just needs to be experienced firsthand. If there was ever a title that needed a live action film or live action series more badly, Deep Beyond is it. This is so much fun to read. To call the artwork appropriate would truly be an understatement, as the art style has been brilliant in just bringing us otherworldly dimensions, creatures, and just plain sci-fi action um, to life on each page with bright colors um, and beautiful illustrations, really just adding to an already vibrant and exciting genre. Deep Beyond, issue number seven, this was our only cover that we picked up. I can go on and on about this as it would take a while to really just pull apart this narrative, um, which I don't know, maybe I will. But for now, uh, this is just what I think of issue number seven. Um, you're a sci-fi fan, you need to be reading Deep Beyond. And that'll do it for This Week in Comics. Uh, those are some titles that I'm just really just going on about um, and really just wanted to talk about. Hopefully next week I can stay caught up with the titles and just uh, you know record as quickly as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to visit us at zombiestar.com and I'll see you guys next time.